Pittsburgh quarterback Kenny Pickett is arguably having the best year that any college quarterback is having up to this point uh, through the six or seven games that they've played so far. I want to take a few minutes and look at some of the film and really dive into why he's having such a successful year and the steps that he's made because he's had some good moments in the past, right? Anyone, anyone that's kept up with Kenny Pickett or college quarterbacks, he's done some good things well. He's been a bit inconsistent. This year, he's been on fire. He's at 21 touchdowns to only one interception. That's almost an 11 to 1 TD to interception ratio. His completion percentage is a hair under 70, and he has right under 2,000 yards passing. Uh, passing yards, rushing yards, he's actually doing pretty well, pretty good as well. Excuse me. He has 180 yards on the ground and three touchdowns on the ground. A bit more athleticism than people probably realize. So I want to look at some of the film and look at how he's able to have the success. The takeaways from film, which we're going to see in a second, are his ability to throw the middle of the field. Right, He uses his anticipation, his ability to read defenses to do that, his ability to throw outside the numbers. You see his arm strength to do that, his ability to push the ball downfield. Again, arm strength and accuracy downfield. And then he has a bit more athleticism than, than people probably give him credit for. So I think all these four uh, qualities that he's been able to show are why he's having a successful year, and all those qualities are what NFL scouts love to see. And so I would anticipate him going up draft boards higher and higher, especially that no quarterbacks this year have really taken reins of, of the top quarterback. I would imagine him starting to get a little more buzz. Uh, but I want to go ahead and dive into the film. And I know, yes, the one knock on him, you know, Pittsburgh, is that they haven't played a ton of great competition. Uh, but Tennessee is a good game. you got Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech. I know they lost to Western Michigan. <clears throat> Excuse me. But Pickett still played well in that game. And they got Clemson coming up. So we should have a really good test for Pickett and Pittsburgh. Uh, but up to this point, I think, I think he's probably had the best season any college quarterback has had so far up to this point. So let's go ahead and dive into the film. Before we look at the film, I just want to encourage all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback-related content. Let's go ahead and get into it. So another example of Pickett processing information here. So it's a third and ten. He starts off looking right side of the field. Eventually comes across, hits his guy coming over the middle of the field. So good job processing the defense. We've got two up top safeties right. Now you see his head go back to the middle of the field. Stands in the pocket. Delivers a good ball before the backer can come in. A uh, good job for a first down there by Pickett. Again, processing information uh, as the play is going on. So here's good situational football for him, Pickett here. So at this point in the game, it's end of the first quarter, 10 to nothing, Tennessee. It kind of looks like Tennessee might run away with it at, at this point in the game, looked like, right? 35. We see two high safety look. Uh, good job by Pick, Pickett, good situational football. And then he hits the middle of the field here. So we see middle of the field, middle of the field. Yeah, and he's throwing it right now, right? So good anticipation. Backers coming here, throwing number three right here because we got safety going this way, safety going this way, and then middle of the field backer here. Good anticipation throw by Pickett and good situational football, uh, able to pick up the first down there. Uh, a big, big third down at this point in the game. Here's a here's your middle of the field throw, and again, he gets great protection, right? If Pickett gets great protection, man, he can really rip it. He's been doing it all season, right? So they bring four, good protection up here. We can't see him. He's kind of the, the end of the screen. He's coming right over the middle of the field. Pickett's reading this looking off the backer, right? So Pickett, again, looking this way, he creates the middle of the field to be open. This backer is going to the, to the, uh, to the, uh, can't talk to the running back, even though uh, this defender's already out there. So when, when that happens, watch Pickett come across the middle of the field, lets it rip. Good ball there, but good job by Pickett moving that backer out of the way before throwing it. So here's Pickett in the pocket, uh, throwing a good ball to a deep crossing route over uh, to the left side of the numbers here so good job in the pocket going through progressions and showing arm strength to throw it outside the numbers so here's Pickett giving his receiver a chance and good quarterbacks uh, they, they, they give their guys opportunities give them a chance to go get the ball so yeah it's a good play by the receiver it's a hell of a catch I don't want to take that away from him but uh, when quarterbacks are on a rhythm they give their guys a chance good back to the throw here by uh, Pickett here we'll go ahead and check this out so middle of the field down the bottom of the screen he runs out of the screen pressure comes right so look he takes the hit too right so he takes a hit Stands in the pocket, throws a catchable ball for his receiver to go up and get it, and he does. So good job by his receiver there. Good job at Pickett to trust his receivers. Uh, ends up being a good play as he takes a hit. So here's another great example of, of Pickett's ability, ability to throw out to the numbers, and he's thrown to the left side of the field. So yes, he's in the left hash to uh, the left side of the field outside the numbers. Uh, still, I think it's a good example of his arm strength here, uh, which I don't know if it's something that gets talked about enough, but he does have a good arm, puts good zip on the ball, and whenever he's in a good rhythm, you really see that sort of text bringing five, potential delayed blitz here. Uh, nothing crazy here, but just a good example of him completing the ball outside the numbers as well. I'll just go ahead and play it here. You can see good zip on that pass there for a first down.
So there's another downfield throw against Georgia Tech, and this put them up 28 to seven. They kind of just ran away from here, but a uh, good downfield throw, able to do it quick there. So another good example of a downfield deep throw from Pickett. So here's another downfield throw for a touchdown by Pickett. We're gonna see the receiver become wide open right here. Pickett does a good job, kind of buying time in the pocket, moving his, doesn't roll out, but just moves uh, within the pocket, slides over, slides over. Right before he takes a hit, ball is out, uh, wide open receiver for a touchdown there. Good job by Pickett, again, buying time just enough so he's able to hit his receiver for a touchdown. So here's a deep ball throw here. We're going to see a oops, fake run here, like, like, like a slight half roll. You see the offensive line. Only three are being brought from Jura Tech. Offensive line does a good job shielding them off, shielding them off this, this way. And you're going to see just a deep cross, deep post, actually, uh, from Pickett. Good. Another example of an NFL throw from Pickett. We'll see the little half roll, right? We'll have the offensive line kind of blocking at this angle here. Able to set up. Great protection. Good ball downfield. Boom. For the DBs able to get there. Uh, good ball downfield by Pickett against Georgia Tech. But again, it's the, the setup uh, that he's able to, to deliver that ball downfield. So here's Pickett thrown on the run here. Uh, again, 10 nothing at this point in the game. It, the, the first touchdown for Pitt to get them on the board. Rolls out here, eyes downfield, throws a good ball for a touchdown. A uh, good example using his legs, right? Coming outside, eyes stay downfield. You can kind of see a, the receiver coming this way. You can see that? Yeah, coming this way. Um, Tennessee. So like we talked about in the beginning of the video, I do think he's a deceivingly good athlete. And, and I know I've, I've kind of uh, harped on his ability to stay in the pocket, good mechanics, make good throws. But here's a good off-platform throw that he's able to throw across the middle of the field for a touchdown. Doesn't doesn't need to set his feet here either. So uh, I think it's a good throw here, and especially in today's offense, kind of bodes well for him at the next level. Kind of goes off-platform. Boom, throws a good ball. Good coverage, right, but a good ball off-platform for a touchdown uh, from Kenny Pickett there. So just a good example. I know he didn't necessarily roll out or use his legs there, but still a, a, an athletic throw from Pickett nonetheless. So again, just a few clips that demonstrate his ability to push the ball middle of the field, out to the numbers, downfield, and then his athleticism as well. It's probably He's probably a deceivingly better athlete than people give him credit for. So I think those qualities are, are is what is helping him lead to having such a successful first half of the season and playing the best, having the best quarterback play arguably in the whole and all of college football right now. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about Kenny Pickett's performance? I still think like it's flying under the radar a little bit, uh, but what do you think about his performance thus far through the first half of the season? Let us know in the comments below what other quarterbacks are having good seasons that maybe aren't, aren't being talked about a lot. Let us know. We'll do a breakdown. We'll see you next time on the next quarterback related video.